Hey everyone, Andrew from Educate here, and in this video, I'm going to walk through how to scrape data from the Supercoach Draft website so you can grab round by round statistics of each player in the AFL, otherwise known as Aussie Rules Footy. So at the end of this, you'll have an understanding of how to grab player statistics and dump it into a text file for easier analysis in your favorite spreadsheet application. If you've got a basic understanding of web scraping or Python, then this video is gonna make a lot of sense. Otherwise, I'll try not to dive too much into the jargon. For those who aren't familiar with Supercoach Draft, it's basically another version of fantasy football. The gist is, you and your friends enter a league, you acquire players for your team, and for 23 rounds of the year, you compete against each other. The players are scored based on how well they perform in real life, and the highest score between you and the other team wins. Where the data becomes valuable is when you're trading players. If your players are injured or aren't doing well, you want to trade them out for better ones, and you need the player stats and bios to identify the good ones. The problem is, viewing them on the Supercoach website is a bit cumbersome and scattered, so it would make analysis a lot easier to view it all in a spreadsheet. So now that you understand Supercoach and the value of the data, let's build a software bot to download these statistics. For those playing at home <coughs> or in the office, <coughs> The stuff you'll need for this software bot is a Supercoach account, a web browser, I'll be using Chrome, but you can easily do this with Firefox, and Python 3. To kick things off, we need to find the URL of where all player statistics are stored. I only play draft mode, and there's a players page in that section, so this seems like a good place to start. We can see here that this huge table provides the data we want. Player name, total points, averages, kicks, handballs, etc. So let's view the page source to check if the data resides in the source HTML or as a separate module. And unfortunately, there's nothing here, so it must be in a separate module. If our data resided here, then scraping would be really easy because we just parse the URL with our Supercoach credentials into our bot and we'd be done. However, because it's in a separate module, we need to dig a bit more. Let's close this and go back to the page right click and select view frame source. This code is too huge to eyeball, so let's search for some players that we can see on the screen like Lockie Neal and Patrick Cripps, and some players we can't see on the screen like Gary Ablett and Lance Franklin. It's safe to say that this object contains the data we want, which is stored inside this JavaScript variable called research grid data, and the URL is this. Make note of these two. Now the first thing you'll notice with this URL is that it requires an access token, which provides authorization or permission to access this data instead of a username and password. Now that we know the stat center object holds our data, let's find out how to call it. We could try pasting the URL into our browser, but because this token will eventually expire, the link will become inaccessible, and there's a JavaScript function that redirects us to the homepage if we access it directly, so that's not going to work. Since the URL gives us a big clue that an access token is required, we need to figure out how to generate one, which usually occurs at login. So we'll log out of Supercoach and go back to the login page, open inspect, and click on Network, which gives us a live update of all the resources that are loaded onto the page, such as style sheets, pictures, and widgets. We'll type in our credentials and click Login. The network page will go nuts, showing us all the objects that were loaded, and if we sort by name, there will hopefully be an access token object. And there it is. We need to note down the request URL, client ID, and client secret if it was populated, but it's empty here. When we pair this with our Supercoach username and password, we now have everything we need to generate a token, and we can append it to the end of the stat center URL. Now let's open up Python. This is the module I've coded to scrape the data, and I won't bore you with a live coding session, so instead I'll quickly walk you through what the code's actually doing. If you want to run this module yourself, feel free to pause the video and type out the code, but I'm a bit hesitant to give this script out because I think you'll learn more recreating this yourself. So the modules we'll need for this are requests, beautiful soup, oauth lib, oauth2, 
and requests OAuth lib. The first function generates an access token with the details we extracted earlier, client ID, token URL, and our supercoach credentials. We feed that into the OAuth2 library, which returns a JSON, and we want the value from the access token key, so let's use that as the return value. The second function takes the output from the first function, which was the access token, and appends that to the end of the stat center URL, then downloads the stats via a HTTP request. Once it has the data, it'll look for the start and end position of the values inside research grid data, and before writing each line to a text file, I do an extra step to format it as a JSON so it nicely maps to a Python dictionary. There's many fields to extract, but the ones I've chosen here are name, position, points, averages, status comment, and player note. And if we run our bot, we can see that it outputs all the player statistics. You should now have all the Supercoach data at your fingertips to help with your trades. Give this a try and let me know how you go in the comments, I'd love to see your findings. Finally, if you like this video and would like to see more videos similar to this, don't forget to like and subscribe and hope to catch you in the next one. See ya!